I want to say a few disjointed words here about the senses, how they relate to virtual reality. Remember that the senses uh, that are represented, say, in the head, as the mouth is the Osea world and the Nefesh, the nose is the Yetzirah world and the Ruach, the eyes, excuse me, the ears are the Berea world and the Neshama. Those are the three lower worlds. And then the two upper worlds is sight, the eyes, and the Etzeliot world. Those are the four worlds. But there's a tip of the Yud that is the representation in the and the Yud is the representation in the Etzeliot world. The tip of the Yud is the Adam Kadman world. And that's like an intuition, into a tear. The eyes, which are at Siliut, when they are closed, become intuition, into a tear, insight. This has always been represented as the third eye which is actually the tefillin itself. In a previous video, I've equated this with the hands and the sense of touch and feeling. Those hands, the sense of touch, are actually lost also when the eyes are open. So the representation in the head for these hands is the third eye. It's in the middle of the head where the tefillin is, center of the brain, the source of the drop of semen from the male, the dot of the bindu in Hinduism. This is an intuitive, an insight, and the source of what I will now start to call virtual reality, the fifth world, which is actually the sixth sense. This is above the hands. This insight, this intuitive, is the sixth sense, linked to the hands, also linked to the eye. In normative Judaism, we've always known this. This is why we close our eyes. We put a hand over our eyes to say the first line of the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Take that off. Because we have to have this as the into a tear, the insight, the fifth level, or maybe even a sixth level. That's why there are six words in the Shema. But this is what brings into it. When the eyes are open, the eyes are the dominant sense. So one must close their eyes. Truly close your eyes in order to see. Close your eyes in order to feel. Close your eyes in order to hear, breathe. Speak, because if your eyes are open, they're going to dominate. The eyes are associated with light, and light is blinding. Hard to see in the bright light. Hard to sensate. 
I even do this in tennis. I practice now with my eyes closed. So I'm able to feel the stroke, not with a ball, but without the ball, even without a racket. I'm able to feel how my body does the action. With my eyes open, I, I'm not, I'm scattered. The development of the eyes is a yoga in itself. Eye exercises, eye yoga. If you want to see something strange, Paul McCartney, the Beatle. Go to YouTube, look up eye yoga, Paul McCartney, and enjoy yourself for a minute or two. He does a eye yoga. You wouldn't think that he'd be into that. But the eyes represent the opening when closed for the next level. And when open, how, they, how much there is to be developed in the eye. difficult to feel your breathing with your eyes open. It's difficult to meditate with your eyes open. It's difficult to open with your eyes open because there's too much impulse, too much stuff coming in. It's one of the reasons why sleep is the time of the coming in of the new soul we are continually being created and recreated and new aspects of our soul are, create, are coming in continually. But it's easier to feel this way in sleep and dream when the eyes are closed. To sensate anything, close your eyes and do it. I used to read that, they used to say about kissing. Don't you feel your body more when you kiss with your eyes closed rather than open? It's a natural thing to close the eyes to feel. Close the eyes for intuition. Remember, we are always in contact with the oats, the, the signs of God. In Arabic and in Islam, they call that the ayats. The signs are always around us. It's for us to perceive these signs as meaningful in our daily life and how to raise our uh, consciousness to interpret these signs according not only to the level that we're in but to the next level of development. Our five aspects of the soul are always going up each in its own way plus each in its uh, emphasis way. So like say I have a neshama, but I also have the other aspects that are also rising up, the nefesh, the chaya. Raise up all levels by sensation and understanding and the interpretation of signs. The aleph is the representative of the godly soul, the hay, the representative of the animal soul. The olive in the middle of the palm, the hay, the four fingers and the thumb. It looks like a hay, it is a hay. The dalat. The Yud, the Vav. This one to five ratio is the secret of Shia Hasharim.
depending on where you are and what station you are and in what, what, who you follow, the animal soul may be of a higher source than the godly soul. And it's for us to raise all this up. The animal soul is a manifestation of the strong desire within the Ein Sof itself, a manifestation that's its own feminine desire. A manifestation. And it's for us, to, for, uh, up to us to manifest this down below, this urge that was in the original godly soul. The Sof manifesting itself even in Sitra Akhra. Intuition occurs when the eyes are closed to the outside and go into the inside. Every aspect of the senses in the mouth and nose and ears and eyes have this internal and external aspect. Food goes in, speech goes out, smell goes in, breathing goes out, sound goes in, the thin wind comes out. Sight goes in, sight, rather, sight goes out, but sight can also go in, into a tear. When the eyes are closed, see what you really see and what opens up for you.